the song is about Vic Chestnut's assertion that everybody needs a dirty secret. That every junkie who knew who cleaned up suffered for it. I don't know if that's a good message or not. But it's real. You wrote a brilliant book about it. Yeah, I did. It's, it's not for sale over there, but some other things are. Have I given enough merch speeches, Toby? <laughs> I'm going to read a book at you that is for sale at the merch table. So if you hate this story, do not buy that book. <laughs> In New Orleans, the mule's hooves mark half circles on the cobblestones all night. An intermittent soft clatter. Sometimes a silence will fall filled with Doppler far-off sirens. And then you pray for the suffering folks out there for a second, because you know they're there. I'd wait for the meal carts, lying in bed in a summer burning on the third floor, what used to be the attic of this melting mansion. Wait and wait and finally be soothed by the rataplan I'd grown used to. Hard to sleep without it. Hard to sleep through it, it's so pretty supposed to be haunted, this melting mansion, and since everybody here wants to be haunted, we know the story of this ghost. Woman set herself on fire. Not much of a story now, I guess, that I type it, but we read a bunch of backstory into it. Her mad pain and the wet swamp heat burned off by fire in the very bed we were lying in. I stared at the ceiling at a silver-white strip of moonlight and tried to remember the way I'd heard it. The story part wasn't so much her death, but what came after it. She sits on your chest in the night and presses into you with ghost hands while you lie in her bed. The pressure is enough that you can't breathe. You can't scream either as you begin to suffocate. Right before you die by a dead hand, she releases you air rushing into your lungs and then she's gone and a southern moon all silver white in your window like tonight you awake yeah when she sits on your chest is she on fire you mean like a ghost fire right or is she pre-fire her or post all burned up huh they would all be cool. The children slept on makeshift beds behind sheets hung like curtains. They sweated and kicked, dreaming like crazy, then woke early asking for water, though the air was filled with water. Dew, rain, mist, fog hover, sun held in water molecules. I could keep listing water for you because the place is infused with moisture built on it. The thing is, Water carries sound. A desert silence speaks to this. So songs live here. People know and will tell you there is music in the air in New Orleans. Anyway, the boys were always thirsty. They drank cups of water in the tub every morning under a dewy skylight, watching fish swim in a tank over the grand staircase. Some nights when I couldn't sleep, I did the same. Stars foggy through the glass above me, dark fish keeping dark time, and listen to mixes steaming up the stairs like ghosts. I did love that clatter so much. Thanks to Cello Pete, thanks to y'all. <laughs>